All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next presenter was originally born in the Soviet Union and became a world traveling professional poker player and was featured as a contestant on the CBS television show Survivor. And then she discovered President Donald J. Trump, and then she discovered conservatism, and now she's here with you to share with you how to wake your family and friends up to what is going on. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and greet the great Anna Kate. Amen. God is great. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I was born in the Soviet Union. My family brought me here when I was four years old. I heard about Marxism and communism and how evil it is and the perils and the darkness that comes with it. My grandmother stood on the bread lines. My mom stood on the bread lines after the, even, even in 1991. You know the bread lines that Bernie Sanders talks about? My mom was online for eight hours, ten hours a day, uh, uh, once a week. And a lot of times she'd get to the end of the line in the middle of winter and there was nothing there, no rations, no rice, no eggs, come home, there's no food. The best memory that my mom has when she brought me and my sister and my father to this country, when my sister opened the refrigerator, we, she would always ask, we would always ask our parents, can we take an apple? Can we take a banana? And we would always have to ask at home in Russia. In America, it was my mom's favorite memory. She said, in America, you don't have to ask me again. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I know you guys know this, that this is the plan of the devil, of the enemy, into this country and every country in the world. You guys know this. I know I am preaching to the choir. Let me tell you, I never thought I would be, first of all, in a church because I was an atheist. Second of all, a conservative, because even though I grew up hearing these stories, when I came to America, I got indoctrinated. I was a liberal. I voted for Obama in 2016, my first, I was 18 years old. I'm going to be honest, I didn't, uh, I, 2000, yeah, eight, uh, 2008, sorry. I didn't vote for him the second time because I realized he's pushing socialism. And that's when everything started to turn. I was still living in the world. I was a professional gambler, professional poker player. I didn't call myself a gambler at that time. <laughs> There's a bit more skill <laughs> than just playing blackjack gambling. But I still didn't know the Lord. I got on my favorite television show, Survivor. How, you know, by God's grace. <laughs> but he allowed me to walk through some things in my life and see certain things. And I have to tell you, came back in 2015, I filmed the show, got back home, and I felt lost, broken. The Lord started shaking my life. Inside, outside, I looked happy, living the life, traveling the world, on ESPN, WPT, World Poker Tour, everything. Inside, I was miserable. And I have to tell you, I, <laughs> I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. The king of glory. I was an atheist. The Lord showed me heaven and hell. And it shook me to my core. And I received him. He changed my life. Totally. The anxiety, the depression, the worries of this world. The lust of the flesh, everything was just broken off of me. The Holy Spirit filled me and I saw the truth. First of all, Jesus said, right, you guys are all truth seekers in here. I know most of you guys are probably Christian. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You're seeking truth? Let me tell you the truth's name. His name is Jesus Christ. Okay? I have a few minutes, so I want to say this as well. There's three types of categories in this world. Someone told me this, and this was spot on. One, Christians. They believe in God. They serve God happily. They love him. Two, second group of people, Satanists. They know who they're serving, and they're at war with the people of God. Third group of people have no idea there's even a war going on. What we are seeing in this country is what the enemy has planned for the entire world. 
But this country, you see, Israel, God chose Israel. America chose God. And the Lord was saying, my people are getting weary. We're tired. We said, Lord, where is our president? It was stolen from us. We're weary. The Lord is uniting us right now. There's too much bickering, too many infighting. You know, let me tell you, <laughs> the devil and his minions, his army are very united. We have to be united. Not just in the church. The conservative movement, but the, but the Lord wants his army. This is why it's called the reawakening tour. In order to reawaken this country, your soul has to be reawakened first. In 2015, I got back home, had an encounter with the Lord. He put a passion for politics in my spirit. I had no idea why, because I always hated politics. Went down the rabbit hole. Saw President Trump, candidate Trump, go down the escalator, and I knew, it was like the veil lifted. Everything he said was, I knew was the truth. My show aired in 2016. All my friends are liberal. All my fans are liberal. My, the poker world is all liberal, socialist, Marxist, all of it. The Lord said, I want you to talk about President Trump, endorse him, and talk about me. <laughs> While I'm on television, on reality television. I said, Jesus, I'm going to lose all my friends. <laughs> Trump? They hate Trump. I'm in a group text, like 10 group texts with everyone trashing Trump. The Lord said, you will tell them the truth. And so I did. <laughs> the Lord did a mass cleansing. Mass exodus, <laughs> mass cleansing. But let me tell you, actually, today, I ha they're reaching out to me privately, asking for a prayer. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I want to get involved in this country. Activate me. Now I have your Holy Spirit. I see the truth. Activate me. I want to help this country that has given me so much. Hallelujah. We all have a purpose. Let me tell you. <laughs> Amen. You are just as important in the audience as every speaker standing on stage. Okay, every, every single one of you. God used a donkey in the Bible. He can use me. A stubborn donkey. He can use me. So I said, Lord, activate me. I want to do something. Show me. I got a phone call of, a few days later, literally, from Mr. James O'Keefe. <laughs> okay, praise. I only have a few minutes. I'm going to make this really quick to honor everyone else that's behind me. And he said, you should go undercover. I heard about you. I've been watching your videos. Go undercover. And I said, okay. <laughs> I infiltrated DSA, Democratic Socialist of America, which General Finn talked about last night. Okay, amen. <sighs> didn't blend in. I, I had, didn't brush my hair, didn't, you know, brush my teeth, no deodorant, t-shirts, try to, you know, blend in. I still stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Orange hair, pink hair. I'm thinking, Jesus. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> but you know, we, we found communists that were working in the Department of State. They got fired from the investigation. Hallelujah. I infiltrated about 12 Democratic campaigns in 2018, helped my governor in Florida get elected. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, I give him all the glory because I could not have done it without him. You know, the Bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion. <laughs> that was not me years ago. I would have been shaken. I would not be up here. I mean, I barely did reality television. Thank God I didn't have to act. It was just like, just go. I didn't have to think. You forget about the cameras. But anyway, but let me, so my two minutes left, I want to say this. Second Chronicles 714 says, if my people humble themselves, the, see the spirit of pride, the spirit of fear has really gripped us. Not just us, everyone in the country. Let me tell you, going undercover, meeting Antifa, meeting communists, Trotskyists, Stalinists, the people that ravaged and destroyed my country, my native country in Russia, looking face to face with them, let me tell you, they are broken. They are lost. You see, the left preaches love without truth. We preach truth without love. Not all of us. But 
you have to forgive your enemies. You have to forgive them. In order for, we're not going to take this country back in the flesh. We're going to take it back with the spirit of God. With God. Only with God. So if you humble yourself, I know you've heard this, but I'm telling you, he wants us to forgive. He wants us to fight in the spirit. The Bible says that we don't have carnal weapons. We have God with us. Forgive them. Lord, we forgive Joe Biden. We forgive the Democrats. We bless them. We thank you that you hear our prayers, that your glory is going to fall in this country. We're going to take it back in Jesus' name. This is your country. Hallelujah. Activate us. Give us divine strategy. Speak to us in the night hours. Hallelujah. Let us be bold for your glory and bring back our president. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One more time. Was it for Anna Kate?